Hey everybody, um, I accidentally had the camera facing the ceiling for the very first part of this video. Please forgive me. Uh, I do correct it before the beginning of the, the example match. So, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Bye. Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about the competitive consume decks. Uh, so the last Pass the Floor tournament, I believe, had... The top three were all just consume players. Some of you have actually asked me to go explore consume and talk about what makes it good and show off some gameplay and ranked with it. So I made this deck, I call it standard consume. It's there are a lot of different variations. The base to consume basically has if I were to take out a few cards here and there. This is what's in pretty much every consume deck. And if I wanted to fill the deck with a bunch of other things, it's based on what I own. And I have a lot of good cards that I can put in this deck. Kran's really great in consume. And I'm going to put in a Zoltan Animal Tamer because I don't own Yennefer the Con uh Yennefer, excuse me. Yeah. With silvers, you have a, a little fewer options because you're going to go with the uh, crones. Crones are really strong right now, especially because they're not vulnerable to Geralt Igni. Uh, okay, what else do we want here? We might want a Commander's Horn. We might actually go with a uh, Dimerian Bomb as well. Both are really good. Dimerian Bomb protects you from hen selves. And so it's one of the few leaders that can um, outpower you in a round. Um, what else to put in here? Well, we need a few more um, bronze cards. Uh, I actually like having lacerates against the mirror. Uh, <laughs> the mirror against consume versus consume. Uh, I'm not sure if I want three monster nesses or two. It's really up to the player if they want one or two. I think I can pull out one last rate and put in another monster nest. It's right over here. Okay, and that fills out my deck. I can play around with this a little more. Uh, I can put in another Ekimara, which is really good against Nilfgaard as a counter to their rot carcasses, but it only goes so far. Ekimaras are really designed to increase your board presence into the next round as they work really well with the uh, passive. Old Spear Tip is popular and I think I've gotten close to what I originally had. I think I didn't have the last raid. Instead I had a uh, another Ekimara in this deck. It's really up to the player how they want to play these bronze cards. Ideally you don't want to have a bunch of a tool belt down here due to blacklisting. We're going to go, but we're going to run with this anyways. And also I had like Commander's Horn instead of Dimerian Bomb. I'm going to run Dimerian Bomb instead this time. Okay. We're going to go into multiplayer into a ranked match. I haven't practiced today, so I might be a little rusty. But let's, oh yay. But let's see how I can do this. I haven't played Consume Monster in a while, but I know how it's generally playing. Ooh. Pshh. <laughs> I'm gonna have to redo the opening, ain't I? Oh, you guys didn't get to see my face for my all of that. The meaning of sacrifice. <laughs> How did that get all bent up? Yeah. yeah. Well, obviously we don't want um, two crones in our hand. Okay. Now we don't have to worry about drawing a crone on the last one. Um. This is actually pretty good, so we're going to keep it here, and we're going to finish drawing. Uh, I don't want to risk drawing a Necker on my last draw, so we're just going to do this into two Necker Warriors. I guess I could have dug deeper for a, um, what do you call it, what you going to call it? We're up against Nilfgaard. Okay. Yeah. 
He might pass. Your life is mine now. Okay, that's fine. The th problem with him doing that is it doesn't actually do any damage to me. And as long as I'm capable of replaying the Neckers, he has to lock it Your first. Life is mine now. So if he keeps doing this, it's... He's just lowering the amount of uh, power I have in the future. We're gonna keep doing this. Okay. Now we are going to. Uh, we can eat. We can K ran. Early. Another option I had was to uh, consume something with the Ekimara. If it's peace you desire, prepare for war. That's okay, actually. Because that means that unit becomes my last unit I had on the board. What does uh, does he have anything in the graveyard? No, he doesn't. Um, I can actually steal his uh, roach if I wanted. <laughs> That'd be fun. Uh, but I'd probably end up stealing the rot tosser instead. Uh, I don't need anything here. Um... Don't want to use that unless I have to. There are things in the graveyard to eat. I can eat the roach with that. He's really pushing for a, a cheesy win this round. Okay. Interesting. Oh, that was a mistake. My bad. I feel like he's trying to wait until I pass. I was going to eat his roach with this, but making this hard. Oh, that's unfortunate that he took that. But if he takes that, his um, his deck then he gets a little complicated. Well, I can't really do it. Ooh, weird. Interesting, though. I still don't have anything in his graveyard to take from his graveyard. He's really pushing me. I should have waited longer for the Ekimara, but I... <laughs> he won't stop. Uh, I don't know why people love these long first rounds. Hit the rock. I understand why he did that. <laughs> I 
wanted to play this next round, but I don't get a choice this time. Also, the deck thinning will help me get more uh, monster nests. Okay. Pass. We gotta keep an eight power unit onto the board in the next round. Maybe I should have played the um, those units sooner. Release the tide, and I gotta keep 16 points onto the board. And that allows me to uh, just pass, simply. Okay, and now we pass. Regardless of what he takes, I get to keep it. We pass. He's forced to play a card. That'll get me card advantage. Card advantage against cat, um, my opponent is really important. Then I go kill a um, roach again. One option I had is just to kill his throat. So he's going to put that on my... Um... It doesn't really matter <laughs> what he puts it on. I wonder if this takes a random card from his deck. Or just the next one. Yeah. He has to play another card. <laughs> regardless. So I'm going to get two card advantage from this. I absolutely don't care. <laughs> I already know what's at the bottom of his deck, and he's using Biggle Forts. I'm like, what is he going to use Biggle Forts on? Okay. That confuses me just more. Like, he could have done that earlier. Well. Okay. Hey, hey. It lowers the amount of Neckers in my deck by, like, one extra. This one's going to stay on the board, so I'm not going to lose a Necker. Okay. I am surprised that I didn't get a certain card from this. And what do I want to steal from his graveyard? I probably want to... Wish. Okay, I'm going to catch here. that up there. Protect myself from certain cards. I expect him to get a rock costume. Anime est. Space est. That's actually for the best. He can't take the Necker Warrior. Because uh, he's probably going to eat Roach. He can. Not particularly sure why he's Putting them on the range row. I assume it's because he has um, answers. We're gonna put on an impenetrable fog. My men know the meaning of sacrifice. I wonder if he has an aromancy.
First light into the melee realm. Clear skies. I don't want him uh, a damage ring the old spear tip if I can't. Okay. Regardless. He can't do anything, so we're going to uh, steal a rot tosser, dunk it over to his side. Then we're going to just play a Ekimara onto the uh, Cedro. Gonna eat our Ekimara here. I was not expecting him to have two weathers. That was my bad. And he loses. Das Ende dieser Geschichte. Dieses Geschichte. The end of this story, my friend. So that's basically how you play um, Consume Monster. You have to take advantage of as much card advantage against the Nilfgaard control. And you're pretty good against Nilfgaard control because you saw he killed a bunch of my stuff. I didn't get to play Monster Nest, which would have been ridiculous. <laughs> And that's in the area, but it was a pretty standard game for a consumed monster. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that.